Well, hello everyone, this is Fracture, and I welcome you to Let's Play Borderland, the Atari 2600. Oh, I'm sorry about that, I got the wrong video. That was an older playthrough. This one's a little more current. So, let's get started. This is Fracture, and I welcome you to Let's Play Borderlands on the PC, part 23. In this video, we're heading over to Russ Commons West. Patricia Tannis, as she is wont to do, has left some more audio logs scattered around, and we're going to go get those. And as you'll see, my level of skill with the weapons I've selected grows to whole new levels of incompetence. I barely start to reach back to pat myself on the back for these little shots. When I start getting hit from who knows where, and it leaves me completely baffled and dead. I've played this through so many times, and yet I forgot about Rack and Issue. Well, I pay for my awful memory. I enter Berserk to try and get some health back, but it doesn't stop me from trying to punch him from down here. Well, that wasn't unexpected. Luckily my car is still alive, so I can just teleport to its driver's seat and I'll be back where I was. Let's see if I can do better, now I know what's going on. Well, without letting him get in free shots, I actually managed to pull that off. And just like the Rakan issue of Diablo fame, he drops a cracked sash. Chief Scientific Advisor, Dahl Corporation, Day 224. The only conversations I have anymore are with this echo recorder. I've developed a relationship with it. Some cycles I sleep with it, and others I make it stay outside of my tent. My waning ability to discern logic from insanity is becoming cumbersome. I've been translating Aridan writings in between arguing with the recorder. You went off for a few hours during my last sleep cycle. I heard you. If I were to pontificate, I would infer that the Aridan writings show a class-based society that was quite capable of both leadership and of armed conflict. Some of these logs didn't play back for me properly, so if you see an edit in the video, it's just me cutting out some audio trouble. program I was writing would greatly help me understand exactly what all this arid and text I've been attempting to decipher actually means. My mother has been dead for 16 years. She was never actually interested in science to begin with. 
I'm unsure if I'm quite to the point of no return, but my stubbornness, which I got from her in the first place, will keep me here putting up with her until I find exactly where the vault is. Or until I drive myself so far off the edge, I do not remember why I was doing this in the first place. Ah, good. More racks. I love racks. Love them. Love them a lot. For a critical shot on these spider ants, you shoot them in the abdomen. Operators. My program was able to decipher quite a bit more than I had been able to understand before. It will take a few days to fix, but I was able to find many repeated instances of an event that takes place every 200 years. It's repeated many times with a symbol that looks not unlike a circle with an upside-down V in it. It's possible that this is the vault. And something about the vault happens every 200 years. Tonight, for dinner... I will have eggs. Glad second wind doesn't cost money like dying does. I never have any cash. Day 481. It's true. It's all true. My program did it. Program. Pro program. <laughs> I'm now certain that the vault is here, and that the symbol has something to do with opening it. I've checked and triple-checked my findings, and it all seems to make sense. It looks like there are extreme measures to keep the vault secure, but that it can be opened every 200 years. The vault's contents must be extremely valuable, maybe better than the Atlas tech. But I cannot reveal this information to anyone just yet. If I'm wrong, I'm done, and if I'm right, the suits will claim it. I must find the vault myself. Find, find. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
Time to die! Doll Corporation just shut down their mining operations here on Pandora. I think they are insane. Or that is, whoever is making the decision is insane. Iridium mining on this planet has been hugely lucrative for Doll and has funded my project. It's been especially profitable given how low their labor costs are. I wonder what Doll will do with all the unpaid convicts they've been using to work their mines. I wonder if any of them will be my friend. What? Why are you always so jealous of me getting new friends? I'm turning you off. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. And as always, I thank you for watching, I thank you for listening, and I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse, and I promise I'll read them all. If you like the videos, please subscribe or give them a thumbs up. Thank you.